this is dry coconut that we just picked from the garden. We're gonna be making coconut milk and this is some coconut water. I'm just gonna pour it into the blender. Then I'm gonna put in some dry coconut. I'm not gonna put in all, just about half. Put on the cover. take it and pour it into the container so my dad could strain it and this is just coconut milk and there we have it certified organic coconut milk and we're going to use this to make oil down And we can use it to make many other recipes. Okay, so the rest of this coconut, we're gonna put it right in here. This is the husk. And this is what we're gonna actually do, what we're gonna actually put into the dehydrator. And this is what we're gonna use to make more coconut flour. So this is the coconut milk. And this is the husk that we're gonna dehydrate to make coconut flour, more coconut flour. So Today, as you can see, my parents just finished straining it and we're going to put it outside to dry. And after we do that, we're going to put it in a blender and chop it up. And make and, coconut flour with it. Yeah. It's another way to make coconut uh, flour. Oh, bread. And then you, with this, some of this, because it's a lot, we can make coconut ice cream or use it for coconut milk. Well, it is the coconut milk. We're going to use it for making oil so down how today. It taste? It tastes good. As you can see, the coconut has finished drying after 24 hours. And we're going to take some of the coconut and keep on adding it in the blender or the Vitamix, whatever. Um, so now we're going to blend the coconut. <laughs> Coconut flour is finished and this is what it looks like. Looks good. So guys, this is another way to make coconut flour without using a dehydrator oven. We just put it in the sun to dry for 24 hours and then blended it. So now we're gonna store our coconut flour. So now we're gonna seal it so it can last longer. And it may look like a little bit of coconut flour, but that actually could be used two or three times to make pancakes. So when it's finished, as you can see, there's a seal line. And all you do after that is mark the date that you made it. So. Twenty seconds. And then we put it in the refrigerator. And then we have it for the week to make pancakes with.